Welcome to In Buffalo off Elmwood. Joseph, how you doing? It's been a pleasure to have you. It's and, so nice uh, to yeah, see you good again. Good to see you. I love this place. I'm so excited to well, have you give us a tour. I'm so today. honored to have you uh, interview me for this segment, and uh, we're excited to have you guys and share their property with uh, the rest of the world. Well, shall we go in and take a look? Sure. Thank you. Welcome to the inn. Wow, Again. I know. I love this place so much. It is just so absolutely beautiful. Well, thank you for the kind words. It's uh, a really a, a pleasure to share it with you and for uh, our guests. Um, it's a, an amazing place. It has an amazing energy. It's a great way to tell the Buffalo story. It's a part of the Buffalo story. And when you view Buffalo through the lens, which is in Buffalo off Elmwood. It changes your perception of this city. Yes, it really does. You know, and this is such a special segment for me because I've always believed that a home has a soul. And especially these grand old homes because the people that built them, that lived in them, um, didn't, weren't taking the mainstream path. They were taking the path less traveled oftentimes. And, and these walls hold the most remarkable stories from the past that we bring into the future. Well, it's part of the Buffalo incredible. story is uh, Mr. Hewitt, the owner of this house, uh, he was an inventor. And right. he was drawn to Buffalo like a magnet to take advantage of the power. Um, nobody had an abundance of power. Buffalo was the first major city with electri or electricity, first city with electric streetlights and electric trolleys. Yeah. Uh, most of the cities around the country and around the world patterned their trolley system after ours. And Mr. Hewitt was not from Buffalo, but drawn like a metaphor, I use the metaphor, like a magnet to take advantage of the power. Inventions that helped change the world happened here. Obviously, your passion for this home has changed a whole community. You and your wife took this on, and now you're impacting an entire community, not just with providing this beautiful history in this home and a place for them to stay, but you're affecting the entire community because you share the history of the city with everybody who walks through these doors and and you open up a whole new perspective and a whole new world for them. Well, it, it is, it's part of the Buffalo story and right. it, it's quite historical and it's significant. And so, but when you view Buffalo through the lens, as I said before, that's in Buffalo off Elmwood, it changes your perception yeah. and it makes this a much more desirable place, much more than chicken wings, snow and the Buffalo Bills. Right. So this is a Hewitt Master Suite. It's incredible. The woodwork is a little bit different. This is old growth cherry. Right. Wow. Um, it has a thermostat right behind you that controlled the temperature wow, in the room. Wow, look at this thing. This is gorgeous. 120 years old. Uh, wow. This may be the most advanced home built, mechanically speaking, in At the, the world. At the time, wow. In the world. And then there's something else in here that's pretty extraordinary. So Mr. Hewitt uh, lived in the Waldorf Astoria, right. and he came to Buffalo, um, and he brought with him some of the elements of New York City, okay. including this Victorian needle spray shower. And uh, what's remarkable about the shower is it actually energizes. These ribs, it becomes a body shower. Oh, wow. And Theodore Roosevelt was inaugurated and actually showered in this identical shower at the Buffalo Club. Okay. And lo and behold, one of the first things he did when he became the president is install these showers in the White House. That's amazing. The silvering came off the mirror. Right. And I was trying to figure out these little knobs and I unscrewed them and I was trying to figure out how the mirror is going to come off to get it, to change it. And I had a glass guy here and he said, you know what? This might be a cabinet. Oh my So this is a cabinet. Heavens. Yeah. So wow. How cool is this? Yeah. That is amazing. And, and would you look at how well crafted this is. You buy something like this now off of, you know, Amazon or somewhere. It won't go up and down a hundred years later. What got you into all this? How did you start 
this project, because I know when I did it for a little while out in Santa Barbara, it just took me by a storm. It, well, it, it just took over my life. <laughs> so we bought this property at a, uh, a tax foreclosure sale. Wow. Sight unseen in 2011. So I like to say that this house has taken me on a magic carpet ride. It has made me a historian. It has made me a Buffalo ambassador. It brought into focus so many things, including uh, why my grandfather was here. In 1907, my grandfather came through Ellis Island, typical immigrant story. Right. I used to think, oh, Grandpa, you know, we have family in New Jersey and New York City. If you would have stayed in New York, I could have been something. And <laughs> there's a, a lot of truth to that joke, but right. he was in Buffalo because this was the land of opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an Italian word, I don't know the phrase, about the streets being paved in gold. And uh, if you were a dependable guy, just as a laborer, you can own a home, raise a family, raise, you know, your wife didn't have to work. It was the American story, the American dream. And that's why my grandfather was here. And I didn't understand it until we bought this property at a city tax right. zone. Wow. That's crazy. Vacuum cleaner. I like your vacuum system. And your wife is such an amazing part of this project. Oh, she is, she, she's, this is all her vision. I'm just her maintenance guy, truthfully. Um, <laughs> she picked out the color. She's so appropriate. Um, that's why we are maybe one of the highest rated properties on TripAdvisor wow. in the country, if not the world. Although air conditioning was invented in Buffalo, it was not invented yet. So if you want to stay cool on a warm summer's day, right. you came below grade ah, or you went out to the lake. Right, made sense. Yeah. And this was probably quite the hangout, I would imagine, for the gentlemen. Yeah. The billiards room. Yeah, the ladies went upstairs in the ladies' lounge, which is located on the third floor. I call it, it's part of the right. penthouse. It's part of the Art Nouveau East and West suites. But at, back in the day, it was where the ladies would go up and do needlepoint. Wow. And the men would come down here and wow. smoke the cigars so and play utterly school. Utterly and completely boring. This is why I became a tomboy <laughs> at a young age, because it's like, are you kidding me? So this is the Needle very point? spot. Um, that Grover Cleveland was rumored to have been photographed playing billiards. Oh. And this may be the first, the original table that kind of came first full circle. This was donated to us. And this may be the original table from this room. Wow. This is crazy. Yeah. Uh, a little pool? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on. All right. Grab your stick. Look at that shot! Oh man, good game. Good game, but at least they cleared up a few balls before. Uh... You, you made it respectable. They were having fun, they were partying. This house was built to entertain and it was built to wel welcome guests from around the corner to around the world. And we embody that here. Right. That's beautiful. Wow, Joseph, thank you so much for Well, it's been an honor tour. having me on Passionate Living. Is that right? <laughs> it, it has been an honor of having you on Passionate Living. What a joy to, uh, to share in this beautiful home and to share your passion for it. Your, you know that what you and your wife have done and it has changed a whole community and impacted it oh. thank you for that beautiful in my work. honor thank you very much and yeah. uh, as always there will, there will always be room <laughs> for you at the end and Joseph is the perfect name for you to own yeah. it in right <laughs> yes, <indeed. laughs> Thanks. Thank you so much for joining us for this special New Year's show of Passionate Living. And we want to invite you back every Tuesday and Thursday night at 8 p.m. and Sundays at 11 a.m. on WBBZ TV, your true hometown station. As well, if you'd like to see previous shows, you can go to Passionate Living TV on our YouTube channel or passionateliving.com for our website. And remember, wherever you live in this 
beautiful new year of ours of January, whether it's in the warmth or in the cool of areas on the East Coast like today, remember to get outside and get some fresh air every single day. It not only helps your immune system to keep it strong, but it also lifts the mood to keep your spirits high during this new year where you are going to accomplish amazing things and we are all going to have the best year in a long time. From all of us at Passionate Living, all of you in our viewing audience, we send you wishes for great health, love and abundance in this wonderful new year of 2022.